everybody, welcome to another episode of the UK Smash Off. And on this one, it's going to be Barry Trent from No, no Fucking Good, Apollo, what is that? 13. It's Apollo 13. And this is a Marisata base malt and Apollo hops. Uh, 6% ABV. Okay, um, now Apollo Hop, uh, I believe it's American, it's not one I've tried before, so let's give it a go. A little hiss. Lid off. I'm going to go for the pour. So, we got quite a darker beer this time. Um, again, we've got a, a haze to this. Not as um, not as big. So I'm going to say that is a chill haze, as you know, we can see through this one slightly. The light is not very good in here, but. Oh, there's, there's my fingers. It's a beautiful colour. I'm getting quite good representation on the on the colour from the camera as well. Uh, I'm looking on the little viewfinder there. And it's pretty, that is the colour. You know, we're not getting any... Uh, yeah, it's lovely. Okay, so we've got a good head. Focus again big bubbles but there are some smaller ones the top is much more compact so we're getting a oh, overall that visually stunning looks part of my arse here right okay okay so I'm going to say citrusy um, on the uh, on the aroma there, I'm smelling some malt too, which is what I was expecting. A very nice, so a very nice aroma. Yeah, citrus. citrus that's what I'm getting. Citrusy from from the aroma, with uh, with some malty notes to it as well. There's really not much more I can say about that. The aroma's pretty balanced, really nice. Okay, let's dive in. Cheers. Well, that's different. Malty. Good malt, good malt flavour there. I would say, if I was to push it out, I'd say like an orangey, maybe a little spice. Try again. Yeah, orange. Definitely getting an orange. Orangey, a little bit of a yeah, a little hint of spice. The malt flavour is fantastic. Hot flavour is equally nice, and it you know that balances quite well. Mouth feel, it's a good good body. Um, and there's some good bitterness there too. Um, yeah. Pretty well, pretty a good example of a good all rounder, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's really good. 
I mean, the head's dissipated like I thought it would, you know. Smash beers have got very little in them to keep a good head on it. But, you know, a quick swirl. And my head just, just comes back. It's good carbonation. Good colour. It's a handsome looking beer. Very nice. Aroma. Although it's not strong, it is pleasant. Um, but the flavour. You've got like a bitter orange, a little bit of spice, good malt character, beautiful, wonderful mouthfeel. You know, the taste is uh, it's lingering in there for a good while. It's got a good um, bit of sweetness in there, and for 6%, yeah, 6%. That beer could be quite dangerous because that could go down quite nicely, and I would mistake that for a, a sessionable ale. And six percent for me personally is not a sessionable ale. Two, three, four at a push. But I think I'd go past that with this one uh, because the, the the alcohol I can't taste it. It's it's strange, you know, because if you go back to when I was reviewing my own video, that 4.2%, I could taste the alcohol in there. I think because the body on that was quite thin. This one is quite, f I wouldn't say it was full, but <coughs> it's definitely body there. <coughs> Probably a medium, medium body. But it's wonderful, that mouthfeel. And that head, it's just great. You know, it's only small. But it's capping the beer just nicely. Cheers, Barry. Very nice. Mm. Right, I'm off to enjoy that. I'll drink the rest of that with my dinner. So, yeah, very nice. Should we do the overall thing? Yeah, well, I've done it with the others. So, aroma, like I say, very light, but very pleasant. Um, you get the uh, the citrusy smell or aroma. The, there's a, a little malt character in the aroma also. Appearance, I can't go on about it enough. It is a beautiful looking beer. And as it's warming up, you know the chill haze is clearing off. Um, it is nice. It's a good looking beer. It's good colour. Nice head. Nice white or just off white head lovely looking beer flavor again absolutely spot on uh, mouthfeel got a bitter orange flavor um, some spicy notes there there's a, a malt character with a good mouthfeel um, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself but it, it, it's it's really nice so uh, my overall impression is fucking spot on if i brewed that i'd be more than happy so again cheers barry at no fucking good brewery and cheers to the rest of you and we'll see you on the next review cheers <laughs>